By taking biotech in such an early stage in high school, I've learned a lot. I've learned about the function of cells, you know, DNA sequencing, RNA sequencing. I have learned that you can basically recreate evolution in the lab. I learned that we can manipulate DNA the way that we want them to be. Learning about evolution. In our experiments, evolution has taught me a lot about temperatures that gauge different results for our cells. I've learned a lot about biology in my lab research. Um, basically everything I know about DNA and cell manipulation. Natural selection, about plasmids, about doing transformation. I've learned that evolution can be simulated in a lab environment and that mutations can be rapidly forced upon bacteria through processes such as PCR. But actually applying it and working hands-on with it, it gave me a better connection with that it's actually real and it's realistic. My name is Eric Gaucher and I am a professor at Georgia Tech and I have a collaboration with Miss Greenwood who teaches science and technology at Dunwoody High School. Uh, our collaboration began because I have a grant with the National Science Foundation and one of the goals of the grant is to conduct education and public outreach which can take the form through a variety of activities. Uh, for us, what we decided to do for our education and public outreach was to um, conduct a collaboration with a high school classroom whereby we integrated our scientific research into the curriculum of the high school itself. And really, the goal here is twofold. One is to help students meet the Georgia performance standards for biology and chemistry by using cutting-edge research that we perform in a university setting. And from, uh, from a second perspective, it, it, we try to provide students with hands-on learning experiences that will better prepare them for science coursework at whatever college they end up attending after high school. Working with Dr. Gaucher and members of his group has allowed my students to perform experiments that the average high school student doesn't always have the opportunity to perform. Having a Georgia Tech researcher in my class as I'm working is very helpful. When Ryan was in the class, she basically helped me answer questions that I didn't know how to answer by myself. The Georgia Tech researchers have influenced me so much because they can relate to what I'm doing. It's prepared me for what it's going to be like um, before I actually get to college. Sometimes you need that person who is currently in the field doing the exact thing I'm doing, helping you out while you're doing it. I know that in college, the professors aren't going to always be there. They or a hold my hand or anything like that. So I have to be able to go on my own and look up the information. Through interacting with people who are such experts in their field, I've been taught how to ask meaningful questions that will um, further my understanding of the different concepts that we've learned. The collaboration has better prepared my students for college because it provides them with the opportunity to do more hands-on experiments and actually experience what it's like to work in a laboratory environment. Working with the high school students has been a rewarding experience because it's presented me with the opportunity to teach within the Georgia public school system. The direct benefit I receive through teaching is by watching the students mature and their ability to critically think through what I've taught them in the classroom. Through our collaboration with Ms. Greenwood, we were able to provide a learning experience to the students using techniques not available in high schools. Students were introduced to the molecular biologist's ultimate tool, E. coli, or competent cells, where they were able to perform experiments such as DNA manipulation and protein expression. And these experiments are directly related to the context they learn in biology class. The students have learned uh, really a variety of things through this collaboration. On the one hand, we've been able to solidify biological concepts such as DNA replication, RNA transcription, and protein translation. Uh, we've also taught the students how this information enhances our understanding for really the molecular mechanisms of life on Earth. So for, for instance, the students are taught about the relationship between genotype and phenotype, Meaning, really, uh, how do mutations in DNA lead to changes in phenotypes or visual properties of an organism itself? And then on the other hand, we have provided the students with the opportunity to learn experimental protocols and techniques that modern day laboratories use to conduct scientific research. And this includes, of course, such things as pipetting and DNA cloning, PCR, recombinant protein expression, as well as other things. 
And, and, and overall, of course, the, this is helpful to the current Georgia initiatives that are trying to bolster the biotechnology industry here in the state. These experiments not only fulfill Georgia performance standards, but they also allow the opportunity for my students to have a more in-depth knowledge base in regards to biological processes. I now see that my research can be taken out of its original scope and be manipulated to fit various contexts. This motivates me to expand my research even further through future education and public outreach collaborations. The collaboration I have with Dr. Gaucher has been beneficial because it allows my students access to authentic science research experiences and exposure to a day in the life of a scientist. Dr. Gaucher expert knowledge has not only allowed my students' knowledge to grow in depth, but my knowledge as a teacher has also matured as a result of my collaborative relationship. So now that the school year is coming to a close, we will, uh, again, just as we did last summer, host two to three of Ms. Greenwood's students in my lab. Um, these students will come to the lab every day. They will conduct experiments and exploit, really, the knowledge that they've learned during the school year uh, to conduct their, their independent research projects. And these projects are part of a national competition called the Siemens Competition for Math, Science, and Technology whereby these students get to uh, compete against other students across the United States for scholarships that range between $10,000 and $100,000. We were uh, semi-finalists last year, and that being our first year. So this year, we're hoping to improve upon last year's performance and make it to the finals this time around. When I get older, I would like to be a biotechnician. I would like to be a researcher, maybe in biotechnology or chemistry. Uh, when I get older, I hope to become a biochemist. Um, I really have a passion for science. When I get older, I know that I want to do scientific research. When I get older, I want to be a doctor because I want to help people and it also combines math and science, which are my two favorite subjects. I feel that science is a passion. It's always changing. It's never constant. The world of science is so broad that whatever kind of research I do is going to touch the world in some way and I want to make an impact.